Hey guys, welcome to another video and this video is going to be about how to tune your PID controller using a physical example. And our physical system here consists of this DC motor with some load on the shaft and the encoder in the back. We'll use an Arduino and L298 motor driver to drive this motor and here I have the Arduino code and PID gains inside the code and the target angle is set to 90 degrees basically we're tuning our system to a step response where motor starts at 0 degrees and quickly wants to reach 90 degrees target position also I'm using PLX DAC it's an extension for Excel to acquire serial data so I'm acquiring actual position and target position from the motor and plotting it in Excel let's start with the proportional gain set it to 1 upload the code and once the code is uploaded, we'll connect our DAC and power on the motor. And here's the motor goes to 90 degrees and it, around that it's just oscillating. And let's power off the motor and look at the data. Here the red is the actual motor position, the blue is the target position. And you can see it's oscillating. This tells me the proportional gain is already too much since it's overshooting and taking forever to settle but I want to try even higher gain just to see how it reacts so let's start with 5 and power on the motor and it's pretty much responding the same way let's just quickly look at the data as well here's the plot same oscillation and uh, definitely not a desired response since we already know one was too much, let's try something less. Let's try 0.5. Uh, upload the code again and power on the motor. Much better. Only a few oscillations and it stops at close to target position. Here's the plot and you can see the number of oscillations are less compared to our previous test. Still there's a lot of overshoot, undershoot, and settling time. So let's see if we can improve that. Let's reduce the proportional gain even further. Let's go with 0.3. We'll upload the code again, power on the motor. Here we see a couple oscillation and then it stops, but it doesn't stop at the target angle. Let's look at our chart. There's a lot of steady state error and that's not desirable of course but we're not trying to tune for steady state error right now so we're still trying to tune the proportional controller let's reduce proportional gain even further to 0.25 we'll upload the code again uh, connect our DAC air power on the motor much nicer result couple oscillation and it stops at the right uh, target at this point I would like to reduce the overshoot and the undershoot. To do that we'll have to tune the D gain of the controller so add some damping. So we'll add KD term. Let's try 10. We'll connect and uh, power on the motor and there is no oscillation but it definitely overshot the target and this tells me the system is under damped so we'll have to add a little more KD term so let's try 50 and upload the code again and okay we never reached the target position let's look at the plot yeah this is this tells me the system is over damped now and we'll definitely have to reduce the KD gain the D gain of the controller so let's reduce it to 30 this time and upload the code again let's see it's much better that's very close to 90 degree target angle so let's look at the, look at the chart I see the system is still a little bit overdamped. It's not there exactly. Um, so I think I can reduce it even further. So I'll try 24. Yep, this looks much better. 
There you go. So now I would consider this system tuned for step response. There is no overshoot, no oscillation, no steady state error, and we reach our target position. So we simply tuned our controller using the proportional and the derivative gain. You see there is no integral gain. As there is no steady state error, we don't need the integral gain. However, let's add some small integral gain and see how the motor responds. So let's start with point one and we'll upload the code again. Connect. Yeah, so the I gain, the integral gain makes our system unstable. So definitely not desired in this case. And you can look at the oscillations. So basically if you were tuning this controller for let's say a speed response where speed is changing um, over time it's not a step response then you would need the integral term to reduce the steady state error but in this case we don't need it so this was it for this video about PID tuning and if you guys are interested in how to control DC motor speed and position. You guys can check out my other videos. I'll add link to my description. And uh, hopefully this video was helpful and uh, I'll see you again. Thank you.